Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over a, a quick introduction on Microsoft Intunes. Obviously, you knew my channel. I want you to do great comments. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today I want to do a quick introduction on uh, Microsoft Intunes. What is Microsoft Intunes? Um, just go over it a little bit. I have a PowerPoint slide I want to go over. I want to just go over briefly Intunes a little bit because... I'm doing that right now in my job that I'm working right now, and I'm implementing uh, changes on the back end for MDM, for asset management. Um, I've been on calls with Microsoft the last, the last couple of weeks because certain things work, certain things don't work, and then we, we've been getting them to work, if that makes sense. So let me just share my screen, uh, go over, uh, just like a brief overview into this. I'm not going to set up anything, configure anything crazy. I just want to show you, a, like just to get a good understanding of it, all right? Let me share my screen. Give me a second. Screen. Screen three. All right. So I have it right here. Uh, it's called Intro to Intunes. And there, this is like, um, these are the supported operating systems, right? So this is this is all the stuff that's supported by. And you, go, you go online and find out more information. But Intu supports Android, iOS, iPads, Linux, Mac, Windows, Chrome, right? then these are the Microsoft roles. So you got to go to intro roles, intro roles. You have global admin, global reader, Intune service administrator, service support administrator, security admin, security reader. So you have that uh, global, global, actually, you know, obviously global admin is like super admin does everything. Global reader, just reads only really can't do much. Just read only uh, Intune service administrator have read and write permissions to features not related to security, Microsoft Intunes. Uh, service support administrator, read only permissions, features not related to security and permissions to manage support requests, including escalation requests. And then security admin, read only permissions to all features, write permissions for security related features in Microsoft Manage Desktop. And then security reader is admins with this role, read only permissions to all features in Microsoft into an admin center. Then there are different types of plans. This is like the basic plan. So Microsoft Intune Plan 1. So you have any of these licenses, you should be able to implement um, Microsoft Intune's on your infrastructure, on your end, if that makes sense. So um, if you want to know about Intune's more, so this is how it looks like. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. So I'm logged in as my kevtechitsupport.com email. You guys know my email address. Um, this is the dashboard, device enrollment, device compliance, device configurations. Right now, I don't have anything set up. So how do, you, how do you get into this page? You hit home. It looks like this. Uh, active status is healthy. It has all these things here. Um, and then if you go to, if you go to dashboard, that's where I, I am right now. That's where I was before. This is where, where you see all your devices here. I don't have anything set up. I am gonna set. So, I am gonna set something up here at some point. Just so you guys are aware, we are gonna have some labs that we're gonna do for Intunes. Just so you guys have some experience on your resume, if that makes sense. But for today, we're just going to go over like little things here. So you have your services. You have your apps. You have your devices. Is that all your devices? Is it going to be zero? Because I don't have anything here, right? And this is onboarding. So it's like the onboarding for Windows 365 or enrollment. I could set this up that it configures my device when it, and it joins into the domain and everything. I could configure. I'm not going to do that today. And then you have the same thing for Apple, same thing for Android, uh, same thing for device enrollment managers. Like this is something that, I mean, we're not going to do anything, but this is um, to enroll larger quantities of devices. So this is something that we may look at. Uh, we have your reports right here. You have your users, which is, these are all my users right here. You have your groups. I have a bunch, I share a bunch of groups here. Uh, yep, they're on there. Your tenant administrator. I'm based in North America. That makes sense. So now, now, now that we look, now that we looked at all that, right? Just for fun, right? You stop sharing for a second. Now, now that we, now that we looked at that, um, this things drive me crazy because someone keeps messaging me on Discord. Let me close that for a second. All right, now that, now that we do that, let's go back to it. Um, and I'll show you how to configure something super duper easy that even you could do it. It was like, oh wow, I didn't know that. So let me let me share my screen one more time. Uh, screen three, right? And we're going to go to apps. Uh, we're going to go to windows. There's nothing here. There's going to be nothing here because nothing's configured, right? So if you do add, um, and then what you do is you have Microsoft, Windows. You have to you have to tell it, like, 
if you're gonna set up an app, you have to tell it like what's it gonna be, Windows 10, Windows 11. But this is not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for um devices and configuration is what I'm looking for. So this is where we set up our policies, uh, whether it's security or backend or anything that has to do with your operating system. This is where you, where you would go for policies for your operating system. It's kind of your GPO or your group policy, quote unquote, because we don't have group policy implemented in this environment. So we would use this for that, if that makes sense. Because you put all your you put all your devices in here, and the policy that policy should take place. And it should affect all the devices in that policy. And I'll show you what I mean when I go over this. This is a new policy. Now you got to tell it, is it Windows? Is it Mac? Is it Linux? Like, what are you, you're implementing a configuration, but what operating system are you, are you going to implement it on? So I'm going to use Windows 10 later. Uh, I'm going to click on templates. And then I'm going to hit administration templates. I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to put uh, bookmarks. And I'm gonna type Chrome in here. So this is like enable bookmarks bar. So you click on this. So this is I was looking for this one. So manage bookmarks, right? So this is this is where you would manage your bookmarks. So this is where you will get. So what you have to do is, if you want to implement this, you need to copy and paste this book. So these are these are the book. This is the bookmarks that will will show up on that device that you're setting up. So you got to copy this. Then what you want to do is, you want to open up a Notepad. I, mean, I have Word open already, right? And then you copy and paste. And here, I'm trying to make this a little bit bigger so you guys could see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, font. There we go. Perfect. All right. So here, you would you would just literally put. So it's like man manage bookmarks, uh, and then here you would just put whatever URLs you want to implement, right? So you can implement Chrome, YouTube. And if I wanted to, I could get my website, put it in here. And then once you're done, it's just I'm gonna leave it alone as it is. Once you're done, you hit enable. Same thing, you hit cop control V. Now it's in there and it's a blue, it's a green check mark, which means it kind of it looks right, it's not complaining about it, and you hit OK. You hit next. And then this is your scope. We're not gonna do anything here. We, I, we, you, I normally don't touch this in next. Then here is okay. Who do you want? Who do you want this to affect? Right? So you could do a group or you could do a user, right? So I put all users in here. I'm gonna remove it. Or you could do add a, add add all devices, or you could do add a group, right? Then I don't have like I have all users here. It's gonna be everyone. I don't really have anything right now. Um, so let me just put all the devices. We don't have any. Just remember that we don't have any devices. It's just an example, right? So you're gonna hit next, um, and then create. And then you hit refresh here, and that policy is there. So this is bookmarks. So like you could always go back and label it. To whatever you want, I I call it bookmarks just so I know what it is. And in the bottom of the description, but this is Chrome bookmarks, um, and review and save, and save. Just like add, I add like notes to it so I know what this is. I don't want to just like implement something and then we don't know what the hell it is, right? And then on the bottom right here, if you ever want to edit your browser, you hit edit. Um, this is the enable one. This is the one we enable, and it's right here. So if you ever want to change it, you can. You just copy and paste and change it. So um, I'm showing you this because this is what I'm doing right now in my job. I'm doing a bunch of intern stuff right now. Um, if you go to show you security. Um, right, we're to see if it works. Security I'm gonna log in real quick. Um, let's give that a second just to show you something real quick. Uh, I'm at forty six percent right now for my security score and proof score. I want to see if in, I want to see if Intune is there. Probably. Let me just uh, 
exchange teams online online and the answer is not there all right just wanted to double check but yeah that's how you that's how you run it and then if you hit, you do re view report i'll have like a green check mark if it's succeeded and it's running it'll be red if it failed um and then here yeah you could play around with this like if you go back to this you go back to this you do new policy windows 10 right templates and then here is where i would i would uh, uh make some changes like for example domain like this is a domain create put domain next prefix domain you can set all this up and i'm not gonna do that now okay make another policy windows 10 template wi-fi Create, you just call it Wi Fi. And you could set up a you could set up a Wi Fi on on the policy. So then when that when you add that computer or you add that device to this configuration settings, it'll pick up that Wi Fi that SSID, uh, and it says connect automatically when it rains. Yes. Then here you will put your Wi Fi here. Connect to most preferred networks. Do that. No, 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 no. Authentication period gives you more information before failing uh, for authentication. Um, and then here is ELP type, the TLS. Um, and then this, you got to put the certificate here. Um, let me make some changes here. So, yeah, that that's my get out of this. Just wanted to show you that. So this is where you will create all your policies for your devices, for your, for your Windows and Mac and Linux devices. Um, they have Mac here as well. And I'll just show you how it looks like. Yeah, right here. So the PKI, PKI extensions, VPNs, almost similar to that one. You have settings catalog, you hit create. Uh, I'm going to put test. Just to show you how this works. Next, add settings. And it's right there. So it's App Store, AirPlay, authentication. So... Uh, let me get. Let me go back. Let me go back. All right. So that's where it is right now. Um, it's just, it's not really assigned to anyone right now. It's assigned to our group, but not really. It's not gonna really not gonna work because there's nobody. No, I don't have any devices on it right now. But for next time. But anyway, yeah. So that's it. That's pretty much it. So if you wanna if you wanna configure um your devices on Intune, you can if you have a license. You should be able to do it on your on the, on the back end. Um, this is what I'm doing right now because we have a license for this. So I'm implementing application, software, security changes, um, group policy changes, um, just different things on our devices for Windows and Mac. Um, because I am a Windows Mac shop that I'm working in right now. So we use that. We use this all the time. We don't really have anything on Active Directory. We have everything on um, Microsoft Azure AD connections or AD Connect. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, if you find this video useful, let me know and I'll make more videos on Intunes, um, because I, I I love to carry I love to go over Intunes. There's a lot of great information here. But yeah, with that being said, have a good one. Later, guys. Have a good day and have a good Saturday. Peace.